Hello everybody, Sterile Prophet here, and today we're going to be taking a look at The Woods by Cringe Master 64 uh, this, uh, this guy posted about his game on Reddit, uh, came over to Itch, looked at a couple of screenshots. Looks interesting. I believe this is a very early work in progress, so we are going to jump in and see what it is all about. It looks like we need to find a way out. Oops. Okay. How do I pick that up? Nope, that's not it. It looks like I'm supposed to be able to pick that up, but... Does it... No. That's back. Oh, okay. Alright, find a way out. Control shoots. That's old school. That's super old school control shooting. That's like back to uh, Wolfenstein and Doom and stuff. Alright, so I know he said this game's inspired by stuff like Slender... Uh, like the, the Slender Man game and... OH SHIT! Fuck. Oh, god damn it. Okay. Oh, fuck. Alright, uh, I, I know he says this is this game's inspired by Slender Man and, like, Silent Hill, uh, stuff. I feel like I should be able to pick these up, but I guess not. Wow, that was... I was not expecting... I wasn't expecting that. Oh, I hear something. Shit. Okay. Where? Where? What? What? What got me? What the fuck? Holy shit. Okay. Okay, find a way out. Can't run. I, I don't... I, I, I guess I'm focusing on picking up those... I guess I'm focusing on picking up the, um, the letters because he, he says it's inspired by Slender. So it makes me think you should be able to pick these up. And that zero of four is definitely not an ammo counter. So we'll see. All right. There it is. Oh, shit. There's a bunch of them. Fuck. All right. All right. Oh, man. Those are... That's actually fucking terrifying when those things pop up. Where is it? I didn't even see it. Okay. He's there. Oh, what's over here? What the fuck is that? Where is he? Where is he? Oh shit. Alright. Huh. Alright, so initial... Initial thoughts. The, the guy jumping out is scary. The noise is good. It happens sudden enough. Um... I would say, I think... You need a little bit more time to react, right? Um, it's not always clear where he's coming from. Uh, the, um, what was I going to say? Uh, like that last time I got killed, it looks like he just came out of a wall. Like he was running at me and was clipping through that wall. So like I wouldn't have had any chance. I, I just had zero chance. So like I, I could see that being tightened up a little bit. But, uh, where the, where am I? I think I'm lost. Hmm. Okay. Am I lost? I'm in some weird part of the map. I don't even know where the hell I'm at. I'm at the edge of the map. This is the edge of the map. the hell did I go? Hmm. 
All right, let's see what we can find. Oh, where the hell are we at? Okay, here's the barn house. Yeah, we were here before. We were on the other side. I think. Oh, it's Ghostface. Okay. Okay, can't even go in there. Alright, yeah, this build is super early. This game is super early. Supposed to shoot those, pick them up. Let's try okay, space Q F C X Z. Okay, nothing picks these up as far as I can tell. All right, uh, all right. Let's go back to the city where the guy was spinning around. I think that was over here. Whoa! Fuck! All right, got him. Got that bastard. All right. So, I think the city... No, the city is not over there. This is this one. Where the hell is the city at? Okay, that's what threw me off. Is I came over here. Alright, I came over here. Blasted those guys. And now I can't find the city again. It's definitely not there. So I would also think maybe replacing Ghostface with your own killer would be beneficial. Uh, I get it as kind of a placeholder thing. But I would definitely say get... Get your Where the hell was he at? I didn't even fucking see him. Alright. But yeah, I definitely think replacing Ghostface with a killer of his own... Uh, the developer replacing Ghostface with a killer of his own design would be beneficial. <laughs> Where's the city? Hmm. Okay, here's the city. It looks like a... Go over here first. Oops. Okay. All right, so there's nothing on the outside, but that's here. So what's this? something over here what's this say can't run all right is that it I thought there'd be an actual way to escape but oh 
Okay, so I'm back. I, I was messing around. I, I was messing around with this a little bit because I was so sure you could pick up these notes. It just to be inspired by Slender and not be able to pick up the notes. It just didn't seem right. Well, you can. You just have to really walk into them. There's not a. It's not like E or F or anything. You just really have to bump into them to pick them up. So we're gonna try to finish this game. So there's a second one. I know where all four of them are, so that's at least going to make this part super quick. There's the other one. Ooh, I almost oh, clipped through the environment there. Okay. So that's three and four, three of four. So just a little. No. Shit, those things, they, that sound is perfect. Like, he has the perfect sound for those things popping up. It's... Oh, fuck. Alright. Uh, I didn't see the second one. Alright. So we're gonna go over here and get the last one. Uh... I did a little test of this before I'm showing it. I did a little test of this before I'm showing it off. And you don't have to like I've died and all four notes respawn. All four notes respawn. You can just pick up the same notes over and over again, which again it's a demo, so that's okay. Uh there is one over here somewhere. Right? Yeah, it's down here. There it is. So, that big wall there opens up, and we are able to finally escape. Alright, to be continued. So, uh, yeah, this is the... This is the this has been The Woods by Cringe Master 64 uh, Some overall thoughts that, you know, I shared some of them as I was playing, uh, and I just said it, I'm going to say it again. The scare sound for, well, Ghostface coming out is just, it's a perfect jump. Like, it, it, it's to, it just out of nowhere, that just that loud noise. I think that's really good for the monster appearing or, or Ghostface or, or whatever he eventually makes it. That's the other, but I think the noise is perfect. Don't change that. I think that is absolutely perfect. It's startling. It's unnerving. And it just, it gets you the right, I think just the right amount of freaked out. I mean, you, you just watched the video, so you, you heard me, right? I, I, I think it's just the, amount, just the right amount of freaking you out. Um, the fact that it looks like it's Ghostface, I would change that as soon as possible. Um, if you want to get any traction with this game, you don't want to get into any kind of nonsense because Ghostface is in it, right? Like, I, I would change that to something else. I would make that a priority, but uh, if you want the demo to get out there to more people, you want people to play it, maybe take it a little more seriously, I, I would definitely change Ghostface out to something of your own design. Um, get get on that ASAP, I think. I think that's super important. Um, the Slender influence is all over the place. I mean, it's this is like Slender the Eight Pages for sure. Uh, Silent Hill, I didn't really see that too much. I mean, it had some buildings and, a, you know, a, the little cityscape and all that. I didn't really see any Silent Hill influence. Uh, maybe the gun. I, I, I don't know. But Slender, of course. If you play this and you know anything about Slender, the eight pages, you, you know that it's wearing its Slender influence on its sleeve. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, but the Silent Hill stuff, that I just didn't get. But, you know, maybe... I, I, I don't know. But... Uh, some technical stuff to collision on the trees and the, the rocks and stuff. That was a little, that, that could use some cleaning up. And I'm sure with time that, that would get cleaned up. Uh, uh, I do get this as a demo. Um, but yeah, just some collision stuff. Uh, and the other, shit, I just I lost my thought. All right, I thought I had one more thought, but I can't think of it. But um, overall, I think... 
overall, I think there's something that could be really, really neat here. If it's expanded upon a little bit, make the world a little bit bigger, fix up some of the technical stuff. Um, oh, oh, I remember the other thing. I remember the other thing. Um, the, the way the killer comes, or the monster, or whatever it ends up being, uh, the way he can just kind of clip through the environment, I, I would... Because you, you, you saw it earlier in the video with the city part, um, where he just came out of the city wall and got me. He should have to follow the same pathfinding that you do. And... He should be able to... He should have to follow the same... He should have to follow the same pathfinding that you do. And you could see towards the end where he kind of got stuck on a tree and had to go around. That should be the case on everything. And I would maybe try to avoid multiples of him coming at the same time. Where it's like one, two, three, like all back to back to back. Um, and maybe spawning him further out. Uh, it, it seemed like he spawns super, super close. And you don't always have the time to turn and react. Depending on where he's coming from. Uh, so, so I think just kind of fixing up the spawn rate of him and maybe, I don't know, maybe a little less of it to make it a little, like, like, I mean, I was still getting, I was still getting startled after, you know, I figured out how to pick up the pages and everything like that, but maybe like toning that down just a bit. It, it, I guess really what I'm saying is don't have areas where he spawns two or three at a time. Just have that single spawn. I think that's more than enough. Um... But yeah, I, I really see some potential with this. Uh, I, I again, the, the the jump scares are good, like legit good jump scares. Uh, working on the other things I talked about, I think would be beneficial. And um, I, I know it's listed on the itch page as you know. Let me know what you think, and I'll see if I want to keep working on it. I definitely think you should keep working on it. This could become something neat. I think it could become something a lot of fun. Just tighten it up a little bit, expanding on it a little bit. And uh, I look forward to see what is done with this game in the future. So, with all that being said, I know I talked a lot at the end of this video, but uh, I am pretty sure uh, Cringe Master here wants some feedback, and I'm going to share this video once it's published. Uh, hopefully, he takes a look at it. And you know, I I, I I like the game overall. I thought it was a neat demo. Like I said, looking forward to see what's going on. But with all that being said. Thank you for watching. If you like this type of content, horror videos, horror horror gaming videos where you watch someone play a horror video game, uh, subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video in particular, give it a thumbs up. Also go subscribe. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you liked. Uh, if you have any feedback for Cringe Master here after seeing the video, like I said, I'm going to share the video with him after it goes live and uh, just hopefully you know he said he's looking for feedback so hopefully he takes his feedback in stride and anything you guys might say about it let, let him know down in the comments um and yeah go check out my channel if you like horror game videos all kinds of good horror game stuff on the channel lots of videos on there uh if you like it i think you'll like what i'm doing but with all that being said that was a real mouthful today this has been sterile profit thank you once again for watching and I will see you in the next video. Late.